Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Page 10 there. Page, oh, that's good. Now, just a less than a chance, you know, mm. what we have in stock, you know. Now, now mm. see, so we're concerning with the, with the last paragraph there. Mm. This is good. This is good. This is really gross. Oh, <laughs> Chief, this is good. This is good. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like this. I like this. Oh, well, the judge himself. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's good. That's good. So, um, Chief. Uh, I think maybe we need to see tomorrow so we can finalize on the modalities very well, and uh, very well. tomorrow we'll pick it up from there so we can finalize on this one. Good. good. And that'll be great. Right. Yes. Are ready, sir? Are we ready? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Uh, take us. So, oh, ah, Chief Bruce. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Enjoy yourself. <laughs> First thing. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yes. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you so much. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Good morning. You look selfishly beautiful when you sleep. <laughs> Well, if that's why you're smiling, then I better get back to sleep. Oh, you wish. <laughs> oh. Come here, babe. Uh. 
You expecting anyone? This early in the morning, no. I need to go check that out. Let me come with you. Okay. Someone dropped out here. Who could it be? I don't know. Hey, 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 babe, don't. Okay, let me handle it, okay? Allow me, yeah? Okay. What is that doing? Strange. Did you marry me? Taking my friend to go see her parents. And my friend. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've, um, I was actually waiting till I got a yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my dad is of the notion that um, uh, a man needs to be sure that a woman wants to spend the rest of her life with him before getting families involved. Um, so, George, were you doubting my loyalty? Or you didn't trust me after everything we've been through? No, 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 not at all, babe. Come on. No. Of course I love you. And I never doubted that. I, I never even knew perfection existed until I met you. <laughs> the problem, though, is I, I, I wonder if I'm, I'm, I'm good enough, you know. A man my age who still needs to get his freedom from his dad's maneuvering. You know? Look, listen. I'm not complaining, okay? If your father is keeping you under his roof, it can only be for one reason. And that is love. And I am not going to separate you from that. I mean, we can stay there if he calls for it. Thank you, babe. I love you. I love you too. Okay, that answers it all. You know, I was actually going to ask when you're going to get your own place. But my friend had just accepted to stay with your parents. It must be love. Shelly! <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> George. Yeah. So, when is the wedding date going to be fixed? Look, engagement rings are not supposed to stay for so long in the finger. It's not good. It will slip away, trust me. Shelly. Hey, girl, calm down. Uh, it's okay, George, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I don't want my friend to join in the Fellowship of Ring drama, no. God. It's all right, babe. I, 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 well, I believe um, as soon as I get my father's blessings, um, the wedding preparations shall commence. Oh, nice. <laughs> you see? Wedding day fixed. <laughs> You're something else. Thank you. Look at you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, God. Don't mind her. Uh, yeah. I sure wouldn't. <laughs> Change it all. 
Is he mad? Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Come here, come here, come here! Thank you, come in, come, come, come! You look great! Look at you! Bang! Oh my god, oh my god! Wow! Man, you look great, girl! So those Instagram photos were now addicted. Yo, so you look great! You I stop winding you. me! How is Atlanta? Ah, uh, I miss my peace of mind already. So I can't wait to go back to Atlanta. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, give me faith. Hey, honey. Hey, How are you? I'm good. I'm good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I think I know you. George? Easy. <laughs> George! <laughs> Jesus! George! Is this you? Wait. This is me! Do you guys know each other? This is AC, AC, my childhood friend. Wow. Wait, 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 he kept moving me from one school to another, and that was how I got myself in Atlanta. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Goodness. Oh my God, I miss so sick. much. Like, why? Daisy was so dumb in school. Oh huh? God. She was always one step ahead of the last oh grade in class. It's a lie. I swear. <laughs> you have to say that. Yeah, but I'm true now. Please, please, please. You guys have to thank me for this reunion. Yes. Yeah, please. you deserve yes, an no. accolade, girl. But, you know, check this out. Wait, wait, I'm running late now. I came to pick up my babe for a party. You should come with us. Like. I don't have anything doing, so I'm um, game. Oh, yeah, now. Let me go upstairs. Sure. Get my shoes and stuff. I'll be back. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Ah, hey, son. Hello, son. Hello. I'm good, thank you. Hi, son. Good yeah. yeah. afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Hi, sweetie. How are you? This is Reti, my fiance. Ah, hello. Welcome to our house. Thank you, sir. Reti, yes, yes. Ah. Oh, wow. Yes. Ah, Reti. That's a lovely name. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Have you found something for Reti, too? No, she's fine. She's fine. Let's get something in my room, okay? okay. I'll be right back. Right. Dad, give me a minute. Okay. Sure. Okay. You're a tea, right? Yes. Sir. Ah. So. Mm. That's a lovely name. Thank you, sir. So, who are your parents? Uh, my father is Mr. Lamri Benedict, and my mother is Nate. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah. Lamri Benedict. That, that's a family name? Uh, I mean, uh, the Benedict family. Who, who, are, who are they in the society? My father owns a restaurant, which he runs with my younger brother in Owen State. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Restaurant. Some like a mama put or a bucateria no, thing. No, no, not really. Um, it's a little bigger than that. Ah. It's an outdoor catering service mm. kind of business. Oh. Ah, ah. Well, you know, Come on, Dad. I mean, there's so much time for that, all right? Well, there's not, never a better time than now, <laughs> you know. Uh, oh, see that. I would like to have a word with my son. Okay, yeah, sir. Dad, come on now. She just got here, okay? Can we... Son, your dad is talking. Well, of course. Come on. George, with all the family values you were raised with, 
with all I'd invested in bringing you up. This is what you do? You go out there and bring me a daughter of nobody. A daughter of a petty restaurant runner for a wife. What is wrong with you? See, I'll be putting it kindly if I just say I'm disappointed in you because I am highly disappointed in you. Don't you have eye for class? No, no aspiration for social status? Listen, you go down there now and take that girl out of my house and don't ever bring her back here. Do we understand each other? Perhaps it's my father's fault. If he had made money and a name for us, I wouldn't have to go through this. No, 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 you're wrong. It's not your dad's fault. All things were not created equally. So settle differences and discriminations need to end or let this world will remain the same. George, George, you don't get it. Your father is making his own point. Look. Let the sons of the elite marry the daughters of the elite and let we the poor marry the sons of the poor. That is the ideology of the rich. You can't No, well, I'm it. telling you that ideology is wrong. That is the wrong ideology. God created all men equally, all right? I'm not going to succumb to that. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Your father doesn't want me around. Maybe I ain't too high. Stop this now, babe. George, you don't understand. Stop. George, you really don't understand. I said stop! Dad, yeah. What am I seeing? Is this is this is classified? I, I believe. Yes. It is you who will continue when I drop the baton. Obviously, Dad. Good. George, did you know how I managed to acquire all I have today? Dad, come on. Everybody knows how hard. You've worked all your life, and I'm the last person to be surprised about the kind of fortune tied to your name. I mean, this is evident of what you've been through. <laughs> well, thank you for the compliment, son, but wrong answer. Now, see, I managed to acquire all I have for the past 20 years because of my partnership and friendship with uh, Chief uh, Ikeji of KJ and Sons Conglomerate. Okay. Um, do you know who his son is? To look at his son. Well, I didn't even know he had a son. That is because there's no son. Okay. Well. So now that's where you come in. Me? Yes. Yes. See, we have come this far because of the bond of the two families. And now we have decided to strengthen this bond by getting our children. Married, I mean, you know, so that um, um, the family ties will be stronger. Now, his daughter, Izini, was groomed for this. The stake is high. There goes my heart beating for the last okay. few days. If I understand you correctly, yeah? You want to match the daughter and me together? You're following me. How selfish is that? That is absolutely selfish. I mean, it's inhumane, Dad. 
Would you want to trade my emotions for, for a mere partnership? A partnership that a simple memorandum can fix or, or, with, with a no, few no, words? No, 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 son. It's beyond memorandum. It's way beyond memorandum, son. See, the stake is high. The capital share is huge. And we are the one on the field making the money while he sits in the comfort of his living room and go home and make, it, and make a huge amount of money. But with this bond, it not only strengthens the family's ties, but the business too. And you, as the man, will be in charge because we will retire and leave the steering of this business in your hands. Instead of having 30% share capital, why don't you have 100%? Hmm. So this is what it's about. Son, the stake is huge. Anyway, Dad, um, can, can I just get some time, please? This, this is a bit too much. Well, well yeah, yeah, take some time, but, but don't stay too long because we need to tie this in, like, you know, as soon as possible. This is not what we play with, son. I'm sure you understand my language. Uh, yes, uh, so I wanted to talk to you about something very important. Okay. You see, I'm your father, and I will tell you the truth. I need to know if you really love George. Well, hold on, before you answer that question. I know I have a business relationship with them, but my topmost priority is for your happiness. <sighs> Dad, you know I've always loved church. Like, if that's what you want, I'm okay with it. I'm very fine with your decision. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's great. Well, fine. I I will support you then. And you know okay. I will be retiring this weekend, so you need to brace up for more responsibility. I'll try my best. You're up for it? Yes, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Daisy, you don't make choices. Huh? Daisy, don't you see? Can't you see what they're trying to do to us? We are not kids anymore, we are adults! Look, in case you don't understand, I'll, I'll break it down to you. What your parents are trying to do, or what our parents are trying to do, is blackmail us! They're trying to use our emotions as the bedrock for the longevity of their business! And that is totally wrong! You're still not saying anything! What a blessing to have you here by my side You can, you can just drop it and go, please, please. My dad wants me home by eight. He's getting late. <sighs> Easy, aren't you listening to what things I'm saying to you? George, if you have any problem, speak to your dad. He's not listening and you, you, you don't... I'll tell you, fathers always know what's best for their sons. A lot is at stake here, bro. Yeah? What about me and her? Our love is not at stake. Love is the debt of duty, bro, and you owe your family this one duty. We fall in love with the people we choose, and we choose them because we found them. And if they are not there, we take another one. Nobody understands me. Every one of you guys, your heads are all in the same goddamn place. It's your dog. 
Toya has a right to call me anytime. time. Uh, good evening, Chief. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. It's a critical situation, bro. Your father wants me in his office first thing tomorrow morning. Is it about me? Think about everything I told you, bro. Well, George, said um, you wanted to see us. Yes. Mom. Dad. I'm sure you both know how much I love you, yeah? And I would do anything to make you happy. Ever since I was growing up, I... I've always did everything to make you happy. I did nothing without your blessings, nor your consent. There's nothing I ever asked that you never did for me. I thought of what you, what you requested of me. I'm afraid, Dad. I love this woman so much. I love you, Ritty, so much, and it amazes me that you don't even see that. I have decided to proceed with my wedding plans, and, and there is no going back. Her and I have gone too far. Can, can you just understand and, and feel my pain, please? George, you know you will alienate yourself from the family with such decision. And I will not stand for a successor who do not take this family first. You know that. Dad, you Your know son! Your dad is still talking. Mom, what happened to you? What happened to everything you told me? What happened to love? You told me to go after the things that I love. Only when it is leading you right. This has gone beyond love and promises to a spouse. George, legacy is a stake here. Right. Legacy. Yes. Your legacy. Dad's legacy. Whatever it costs. Excuse me. It's okay. It's okay. See, so it's um. It is hard to reason with a man who fancy himself in love. He has to come around. I will talk to him. Yeah. I will talk to him later. Talk to him. For his own sake. Who is it? It's Phil, your lawyer. Phil, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I can talk. What? He did.
to do this over again. Uh, all right. All right. Thanks, man. He's giving my entire inheritance to the ultra rich. Where does he want you to start from? Going by his words. I'm a nobody. So I can know how he feels. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. He's just being unreasonable for no reason. For no so hard and he hurts that you're losing everything on my account. Say what you wish for and I join my heart with yours. I'll climb every mountain if it will give you a smile. There goes my heart beat. This is risky. How do you mean? I mean I fear for your life. Or do you think <sighs> Mrs. Bruce is just gonna stand there and watch her son work out on everything she has worked for? All because of you? No. She will come for you because she feels you've turned her son against the family. Shelly, do you think I want any of this? As long as you're still there. You are a threat to the family's name. Okay, so what do you expect me to do now? This might sound irrational, girlfriend, but it's the bitter truth. You, you need to give me a break. Yes, give him a break. Let him think. He will decide on staying and leaving. And if he loves you enough to lose everything, then we will know. Shelly, I am scared. I'm afraid of losing him. What you fear to lose, you will always lose. You need to give him a break, girlfriend. And if his father feels that you're out of his life, he might consider giving him his inheritance. Yes. Shelly, out of his life. Can you listen to yourself? Well, I don't know a better way to help then. <laughs> hey, God. I mean, tell me, Mom, is this some kind of special kind of love? Huh? You sit right there and you watch Dad just take me off all everything. Take, rips me off everything, pretty much. I have no access to any account. No company funds, and, and, and heck, now Jerry's taking my position in the office. And you say you love me. Mom, come on. What kind of love is this? Stop it. Stop it, son. You called for it. You're a man. You have savings, and you can take care of yourself. What savings, Mom? You know I don't even have that much savings, okay? I've always had access to everything I ever wanted. And you walked out on that yourself. Why are you doing this now? Why have you become this cool? Why am I... Sit down. Mom, see, man, I'm still your bobo. Just, just know that. You can't do this to me. You know I love you. I love you, son. But I'm, I'm in this with your father. Your dad is serious with his decisions. This is the kind of thing that can make a man take a second wife to bear him a son that will listen to him. It has happened to lots of women that I know. Chifu Keja retired this morning. Isn't it his daughter is already being considered to replace him at the high table? For adventure, she falls in love with some guy and gets married. Your father still retains his position, while the young man is at the edge of the presiding high table. Don't you think it's impossible? It can happen one day. And that one day will not be one of the days of the week. It could be tomorrow. It could be the next minute. I'm just this is a bit too much. Just can I just think this through, please?
still not taking my calls. <coughs> Don't blame him. At least you should have been prepared for this. I knew this was going to happen. I saw it coming. Girl, the rich are born selfish. They don't even know what it feels like being hurt. And trust me, he doesn't understand your pain. But then why is George doing this to me? I have been calling him since yesterday. Because he is a man. George is a man. And he's doing what is best for him. Let me ask you a question. Would you not walk away from a man standing between you and paradise? George might be under pressure. If he wanted to walk away, he would do it in a better way. Something is wrong somewhere. No, nothing is wrong. George can't stand and look into your face to tell you that it's all over. No. Look, I know it's strange. This is coming from a girlfriend of yours. But I have to tell you the truth. You need to gather yourself and be strong. And that should be the least you should do for yourself. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So have you tried seeing him? I went to his place the other day, but the security man wouldn't let me in. Maybe I should try to see him, at least to know how he's doing. You know what? Don't worry about it. I think I'd rather call Ezzy. Should be of better help right now. Easy. Who is Easy? Um, she's an old friend. She's also George's family friend. Oh. One second. Oh. Hey, babes. How are you? I've been trying to reach you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been very busy. Um, my dad took the back seat. I'm staring the wheel now. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, you're, you're not sounding well. Are you okay? I've been trying to reach George, but he's not taking my calls. Oh, is that why you're crying? I don't know what's going on, Ezine. He might be busy. <laughs> is George is not like this. He's not like this at all. Can you please just call him for me? Like, I really need some help right now. You know what? I'll call him right now and get back to you. Or on my way home, I'll check on him. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't cry. He'll be fine. All right. Bye-bye. She said she would call him and get back to me. Oh, so George is taking calls. What is George up to? Girl, you need to read between the lines. It's okay. Good morning. Hey, mom. <laughs> Good evening. Dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you too? I'm fine, I'm fine. Is George around? <sighs> I've been trying to call him. He's not taking my calls. Yes. He has refused to open the door. Okay. Where is he? He has locked himself in the room. Okay, I'm just going to see him. Please do. I'm going to get him out of there, okay?
What? What's going on? Look, I, I don't know if you're ready to hear this. Like, it's heavy. Look, whatever it is, I can take it, okay? Wait. He's seen someone else. Yes. Oh, God, I thought as much. I thought as much. I'm sorry. See, they've been together all night. She just left this morning. I guess he's going to call your son. Talk of the devil. Oh, jeez. Look, who is she? She's from an influential family, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess. I don't know. Oh, God. You need to let him go. Look, just let, just let John go, all right? Let him go. I know it's hurting, right? You, you're going to be fine. I'm sorry. Sorry, love. Please. Please. You have to let him go. All right? Let him go. This is going to pass. We're going to be fine. Okay? I know it's hurting. I'm sorry, yeah? I had too much to drink, all right? I, I, I should have called you, okay? It... What do you want? Wait, okay, let's go inside and talk about it. Wait, wait, talk about what? About what exactly? About you getting married to another person? Or about me, the daughter of a nobody? Or no, or about your sex escapade over the weekend? Yeah, I know. Babe, look, about that I can explain, okay? I told you I was drunk. She just came in and, and it just... Look, just like, shut up! Josh, you don't even know how to lie. Look, you know what? I am not angry, but now I know better. Babe, come on now, Iriti. Iriti, I've been through so much in the last few days, man. I need you more than ever now. Can you just go inside and sort this out? George, wait. Why the pretense? Why? Isn't it told me everything? But I just don't understand why you are not bold enough to tell me. George, we were best friends. Ugh. Wait, look, okay. All I can say, just forgive me, please. George, George, listen, listen, listen. Listen. You know what, George? It's okay, I'm cool. Okay? Because I understand that you did what you thought was right to protect what you hold here. So just leave. Iriti, just Iriti, so you know me better now. Iriti, Iriti. Iriti, come on now, you know better. Baby, come on now. Talk to me. Why are you doing this? Tell me now. What's the, what's the problem? Did I do something wrong? So what is it? Baby, when are we moving to our own house? We can't keep living in your dad's house. Every woman needs her own roof. Daisy, come on now. Why are you acting like you're not aware? You know the ultimatum my dad gave me now? He says after six months of marriage, then we'll, we'll, we'll get the accounts and then we can, we can start running the company our own way. 
You, look, you heard him when he said that to me. What am I supposed to do? Well, you're getting tired already. It's just two months already, babe. Four more months, and we're going to be out of here. I'll get a house in Banana Island or Lekki, whatever you want. You know, we'll, we'll live happily ever after. All right? Okay. Please. You don't want me to freeze, you know? So that's why you've been moody all day. Anyway, no, I'm fine. I just need to get some fresh air. I'll cool my head off. All right? Are you sure? Yeah, Dad and I went through a whole lot today. You know. It's okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> to feel love, <laughs> loyalty, and gratitude. And then I must say, animals are far better than humans. I gave Josh my best. It was the exception that mattered in all my decisions, Shelly. Why are men like this now? Why are men like this? Hey, hey, girl, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey girl, okay. it's okay. Wait, come on. You need to come down. You can't continue like this. Look, you know I'm almost done with my intention. And I'm leaving for Cardinal next week. So I need you to gather yourself. Because I can't concentrate if you continue like this. <laughs> Shelly, you see this whole thing? This whole thing is too small. It will pass. Yeah, I'll be I fine, know. okay? I'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> my life, George. This is my life. This is all you promised me. Yet you gave it all out to that bitch. You made me feel it like never stupid before. Dear. I wanted a heart just to love me for me. 
my Is it me? Screw you, you asshole! You stole my life! And you stole my man! I am going to mess it all up for you! I promise I will mess it all up for you, bitch! <laughs> You know, to be quite honest, man, I just feel like I'm responsible for for everything that's happening to her now, you know. It's, it's this guilt that I feel every time, man. I think about it. A girl that you've been dating for for a few, you know, a little while, and she just wakes up one morning and realizes that there's another woman somewhere and you don't even have a choice. It's something way beyond, you know, your control. And the sad thing is, I mean, look, look at my age, man. And my parents, man, I, I, my dad is, so inconsiderate. I'm being made to choose between family, the family legacy, and, and the poor girl. I mean, she doesn't deserve that, but at the same time, I have to do what I have to do because what, think about it. I mean, I have put, I have tried to, to, to think of it in every angle. What if tomorrow, you know, I marry this girl, I deserve my family, and then I marry this girl, and then. I mean, think about it. What if one day this woman wakes up and, oh, let's say she just dies, yeah? Well, then she wakes up and you know how women can be, yeah? And, and then I have to regret everything. What would you do if you went in my shoes? Well, um, can I have a phone? Yeah. Picture and. and the numbers and everything are in there.
What? What was that? This is Rity. So? Did she ask for help? Yeah, but she looks like she needs help. She's staggering. What, what, what's your problem? I know I'm going they... to help her. What are you talking Look, about? Look, George, don't embarrass me here. Don't embarrass me. George! What is wrong with you? You're back! Get away from me! Kill you! Hey dear. Well, I take it you've recovered from your hangover, yeah? George! Why would you do this to me? Why? Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? You knew I was drunk! So you decided to take advantage of me just to hurt me! Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? Just, just shut up! Look, look, look. Just stop this pretense, okay? Hey, hey relax, Ariti. I didn't touch you. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. You had sex with me when I was far asleep. I did not do anything. I will never forgive you for this, George. I will never. Just. God. Are you alright? Irati? Irati?
What is subordinate? Who spends the night in an ex's house? A married man. You disappoint me, son. Oh, come on, Mom. I've told you. I, I'm sorry, okay? What was I supposed to do? Just leave the girl there to suffer? She was more than a friend to me. Why don't you understand that? Knock it off. You're a married man. If you ruin this with your carelessness, you will bring the Bruce's name to shame. It's always about the Bruce's. Uh, darling. I think we need to leave the couple alone too. Let them talk it around, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Talk to your wife, son. Nonsense. I am not is irresponsible. All right? I did not sleep with her. I don't know what to believe in. Okay, so just believe me, I did not sleep with her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah? I'm sorry. Come on, I'm just human, okay? You. I've told you this times without number. I did not touch you. Then how come, George? I don't know. How come? Listen, George, please do not lie to me. You've already done enough damages already. Please. stand by you, but I did not do this. So you need to think very, very hard. If you need help, then I'll tell you. Call that number. It's good. I didn't touch you. God, what is happening to you? <laughs> Should I get you your drinks? Okay, sir. He said he paid my rent last month. The landlord said two years rent. Well, that's good. You're not um, losing your mind, you're at You were just faced with a storm that you were not used to.
is the only thing else I can remember. I seem to have run in a great circle. And now I find myself again on the starting line. Here you are again, Ueti. You know, the fact that you were able to complete the circle only means that you're stronger than the storm that came to steal your peace. And now that you're here, I'll run with you so you can always have a shoulder to lean on. What you need is a friend, Ireti. Feels like hope. It is hope. So, how is George? Uh, well, um, George is fine. You know, he's happy with his wife and I'm happy for them. Really? Yeah, look, I'm no longer angry, okay? okay? You know, I've accepted things and I now understand that George was not meant for me. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we are done here. Oh, we are? Well, you haven't touched alcohol in the last six months and you were happy. So I don't see any reason why we're not. Yeah, I am very happy now. So thank you. I'll just take that job. <laughs> oh, thank you again, Mr. Ken. You're welcome. You made me feel like never before I wanted a heart just to love me for me But you changed it all when you came Cause you did this and more I never knew there's so much life can offer You on a cloudy day you my sunshine you when I was falling, you pulled me out And it never moved you Like you have done too much for me oh, What a blessing to have you here by my side Oh, yeah So, I decided to finish your shopping. Wow, oh my goodness. Wow, Ken. Wow, oh my God, thank you. Are you okay? Yes. Wow, Ken. I really appreciate it. You know, you've been a source of strength to me all these months. And now you're doing shopping for me. <laughs> That's what friends are for, is that not so? Um, Ken, uh, what do you want? Because I know that it's, it's not just friendship you want, so what is it? <sighs> you know you're right. I've been spending all my free time with you this past month, so it's normal for you to wonder what I want. Okay. What do you want, like? attracted to you from the very first day I saw you. And then <laughs> you were my my client. But that's not the case anymore. 
on your permission, I would like to officially date you. Um, you want to date a heavily pregnant woman? You know what I feel for you is really strong. I am in love with the baby already, so. Ah. Uh, okay, um. <laughs> okay. Um, when you say okay, is that, um, is that a yes? Well, you know that I like you a lot already, so <laughs> why not? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate this. And you will not regret it. All right? Ah! <sighs> 
Is my baby okay? George. My blood didn't match his. I'm not the father. You're not? I told you I didn't do it, didn't I? But you lied to me. How come you're not the baby? No, you tell me! Look, this is not the right time to do this, alright? You can do this when we're done. We need to concentrate on saving the baby's life. Well, did you not hear the doctor say they didn't have blood? Huh? He's called over 10 hospitals and they still don't have blood. Now they need to save the baby's life ASAP. I'll do it. You will? I will. I'm a universal donor, so I can. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. I'll, I'll see the nurse now. Explained. 
Mom? Where's my wife? The room is empty. This is gone. I am so disappointed in you. So you've been seeing that girl behind our backs. You will follow a child with her. No. What did I go wrong with you, son? What did I go wrong with you, George? The baby is not mine, okay? Of what business of, of it was yours? Oh, Mama, you, you didn't expect me to let the poor girl suffer. Come on, now who does that? It's a pity you're back to the same spot. You have to fix this yourself this time, as a man. Yes. I don't know what is wrong with you. Love, love, love. Betting a child with another woman. George. So George is seeing another woman? After all that I have done for, for him and his family? <sighs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm your father. I'll take care of it. I'll teach that boy a lesson that he will never forget in a hurry. I'll tell him that. No one messes with my daughter. It's okay, it's okay. I'll take care of this. Son, how did it go? She gave me a deaf ear. Father's security threw me out. It's okay. Everything will be fine. in my house. What are you doing here? I invited her. You did what? You invited this snake into my home? What are you doing here? Please what? Wait, listen, listen, look, 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 look. I am about to commit murder here. If this woman doesn't leave my house, just minute. Calm down, let what her now? give. That's the way to move on. Look, I have moved on. Thank you that she needs to leave. Leave my house! Leave my house! I have a confession to make. But well, go ahead. I don't know how this is going to sound, but... George... He came to me... As a shrink. Because you wanted me to help. And then you showed me her picture. And I met her in person. 
After which I empathized. I felt for her. Now I know that is unethical. That is against, against my profession. But I'm human. Shrinks also fall in love. Shrinks are prone to such, such feelings. And ever since I fell for you, I have followed her everywhere. You've been stalking her? Yes, I have. And not because I was trying to harm her or anything. I was only trying to protect her. I always felt this need to protect her. the other night, the night she was drunk and you brought her home. It's not George. No, it's Relax about George, okay? George, I've missed you. It's, it's, it's not George. It's not George. I've missed you. Don't to you. I am I am so ashamed of myself. I didn't mean to ruin your life. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I know there is nothing I will say that will please I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. His mom will never allow him to marry a woman from a poor background. And I don't I don't know to what extent she was willing to go. Cheers. Cheers, mom. How are you? 
I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm fine. My dear, yeah. don't you want to marry my son? Of course, I would love to marry him. No, we, we used to love each other. So there is no problem with this arrangement then? None, except she's breaking George's heart. Hmm. All I need to do is to get rid of that girl and everything will be sorted out. What girl? You ready? Yes. She doesn't seem like someone who will accept money and walk away. I'll have to look for another way. I felt that I needed to protect you. Now that I'm carrying my own child, I saw life differently. I've, I've, I've realized that money, fortune can buy true friendship. Yes, George. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Thank you. 